Welcome back to The Gnome Show, everyone. I'm Josh, your humble host, and it is my duty, nay, my pleasure, to trawl the briny depths of YouTube so that I may bring you the shinies. I cover short films of varying genres, video games, analog horror, and sci-fi, such as what we're looking at today, and anything else that I think is groovy. I hope you'll enjoy tonight's offerings, content for the blood god. And now on with the show. Tonight, we have the continuation of the uh, uh, Spider-Man Analog Horror Series by Just Preston. Um, and um, it's, a, it's, basic, it's a very basic format, like one we're all used to, um, mostly titles. But uh, they're very easy to read. I don't need to narrate uh, you know, unless I want to, which is, you know, like you know, sometimes you don't want to hear me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, without further further ado, this is chapter seven. And if you need the first six cha six chapters, I do have it available on the channel uh, in last night's uh, um, uh, broadcast uh, on um, on YouTube. Um, so let's boogie this, and we gotta cut the music. Is the symbiote. Fantastic Four. So, um, uh, to, uh, uh, to, to, uh, to kind of give you some context, this feels very much like, um, like if you've uh, seen the, the Marvel comic where everything goes wrong in the Marvel Universe and no, nothing ends up like it's supposed to. It kind of feels like that, except it, it's, it, it does go the right way, but some heroes aren't supposed, aren't, aren't like they are in the comics. Like, you know, like for instance, Peter is, uh, a cannibalistic Marvel ruins. Yes. It's like, uh, okay. So, um, this is the version of Peter where, he, um, he's got, uh, six are uh, six spider legs out of his back um, and he's um, got a web mask on his face uh, and um, he's a cannibal uh, and he does fight like uh, like uh, super villains but he is the most brutal version like uh, he ripped off uh, vultures wings and let him fall um, and um, uh, it's uh it, it was it was pretty nasty I think like the one of his first ones oh yeah like the 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 criminal that killed Uncle Ben he was found wrapped up and 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 like desiccated like there was just a skull like uh where like his face was should have been so like it's uh, it's definitely like super like horrifying body horror and um right now they have um they have uh figured uh, or they have surmised that instead of producing like the classic white webbing he's producing red webbing which they surmise is his veins who knows um but um like he's still like i like he's still interested in um uh what's her name uh gwen stacy um i get the kind of the the sense that it's in the same mating kind of interested but you never know he could still roughly be in there maybe he's in that state where um he is uh his body is going through its like uh, mutation stages and uh, maybe he'll wrap himself up on underneath the bridge and come out class or you know a, a form of a, a closer form of peter that we may know I, I don't know like uh it could just get worse so we'll see There we go. There, there were more changes happening to Peter. He's fucking 6'9", and he's gotten skinnier. Yeah. A month ago when we gave him dinner, he smashed his plate, shattering it, so he's not interested in uh, prepared food anymore. And the shards, he's got a spider-like shape on his torso. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Do what it looked like. 
like as it was burned into my brain. So, sort of like the classic Spider-Man shape that we know, sort of. Uh, but, uh, but more closely, like, bright burn. He luckily started using a plastic plate so he wouldn't keep cutting himself with broken stars. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you should still be treating him like a patient. You shouldn't be giving him stuff like that. Something fell out of the sky in the Central Park. Uh-oh. Yeah, Oscorp's a bigger thing, or it's still, a, it is a big thing here. Ah. You see, like, there are a couple of things that are different. Like, um, in the comics, the, uh, the, the symbiote comes back on the ship, uh, the spaceship with, um, J. Jonas and Jameson's son, I think it was. Is it? Yeah, I think so. And, uh, and, and then everything starts, uh, um, with the whole symbiote. Yo, Marble Ruins was so tragic, bro. Like, so so tra tragic. Like, what happened to Bruce Banner? Like, uh, and 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 all, mostly everybody else. But I particularly remember Bruce Banner. Like, that was that was gross. Um, and just like um, everything that went wrong. Like, uh, like it's depressing. That's another thing. There is so much of Marvel Comics that if you took it in a more serious, less jovial, less um, framed at kids, would absolutely, even if you did, even without making it horror, would still be in the realm of horror. Just by its very nature. Just by the nature of transformations and how power sets would work in the real world and how much collateral damage you would have from just using said powers in a populated environment with anything uh, resembling structures or people you know like uh, with organic motherfucking like you know like you know like tissue like 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 absolutely like there would be m uh, mayhem and havoc wherever superheroes or super villains like uh like it, it would be even worse than what anything we've had depicted like i can just imagine what hurricanes and tornadoes do and then have that coming from somebody with a brain can you imagine somebody throwing tornadoes at at, at just random uh I don't know, like uh, just and that's just one dude can you imagine the Hulk fucking rampaging across the United States? Can you can you imagine a a, a flying jet motherfucking like just fucking doing what like like it is terrifying to 
think about what these things would be like in real life. And I think that's how, that's why I like analog horror like this, because it does give some kind of thought to what it would be like if something like this were real. Like the symbiote. And a Spider-Man, somebody that's like had his DNA radically altered by spider DNA and radiation. Fucking yikes. And there's Otto Oct like Dr. Octopus is here, which, which means you know that he's going to steadily go insane. And like he's already talking to his fucking arms and shit. Man. Man. Imagine what... Can you imagine what the like 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 dealing with like the green goblin or like or any of the more devastating villains uh right like just just like just a random dude like catching on fire and then being like yo what's up dude uh, hey man don't get too close but i'm cool it's good nah man yo i'm gonna see you later a whoosh or instead of, like, you know, stabilizing, he just fucking goes off like a match, like in Mar Marvel Ruins, and, like, you know, like, uh, like, uh, you know, <laughs> you know, okay, or, you know, or, or instead of, like, your mutation going the right way, you turn into a Lovecraftian fucking danger to every living being on the planet. Yeah, no thanks. Like, uh, we all, like, the, just the mutations that happen, just the mundane real mutations that happen are terrifying enough. You know, and they don't lead to fucking, like, as far as we know, they don't lead to any fucking, like, flame-throwing, electricity-wielding, hammer-throwing, like, uh, radiation-spewing, uh, whatevers. <laughs> I'm saying it would be cool! But it would still be fucking terrifying for the average citizen to have to witness on a daily basis. And imagine if you lived in a fucking city like New York. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. so they were able to get, because, I mean, it, without a host, it, it is kind of easy to catch, kind of. Kind of cheeky, cool. Now, see, in this world, like the symbiote and Peter Parker coming into contact with each other, especially in this context, this is the scariest thing of all. Like, like as soon as I thought about it, I was like, oh my, what is he going to do? I mean, he's already got bad traits, so it's just going to be fucking... This is going to be bad. It, it's, it, it's even weaker against sound waves. Like, high-frequency stuff, like, can, uh, can definitely stun it. Yeah. Um, actually, wait, actually, Peter Parker first got the black suit from the Secret Wars at the end, right? Um, like a, the, like the fabricator made him a suit or something? Or was it like, um, let me see, let's, how did Peter get the first, get the symbiote?
Okay, right. Having damaged his original costume in battle, Spider-Man discovers a machine thought to be a fabric re replicator. The machine produces a black sphere, which then engulfs Peter in black goo, eventually forming him his suit while augmenting his powers and ability abilities. The suit would later be revealed to be a symbiotic life form. So, like, it was... It was probably like it was probably given to him in good faith, um, but like uh, uh, you know, like who's gonna know like you know like how you're supposed to conduct yourself uh, with uh, an organism like this? It's sort of like uh, like getting the guy uh, the Giver unit, you know, like uh, like, it, like how are you supposed to know that you're like an intergalactic fighting killing machine? that is uh, supposed to be the most perfect fucking uh, fighting machine ever made and uh, and your creators are absolutely terrified of you from it uh, of, of for it and they want to kill you because you have it mm, you know like you know, it's, it's you know how are you supposed to know that you're supposed to moderate your emotions and uh, you know uh, and and guide the symbiote into uh, like a, a, a A, uh, you know, like a well-adjusted um, symbiotic partner. And, you know, it's supposed to grow with its host. And it's supposed to be... They're supposed to be partnered with the with the better. As at least in one storyline I remember reading about. Uh, and they're supposed to be molded in the good way, I think. You know, the harmonious, harmonious. You know, they're not supposed to be evil or whatever. I don't know. I don't know. And then there's the black. You know, that guy, the, the original... Venom or whatever the god or they did whatever. Um, although like having like Eddie become like you know like uh like whatever he did like at the end uh with taking on like the mantle or whatever that was kind of cool. <clears throat> Cause Eddie Brock, he's been through a lot, and I know he's not the fucking like you know like the 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 you know the nicest or the. The, the most good guy out there but like he has tried and um and the suit the symbiote itself has tried like at least with um what is it what uh the the agent shield uh where he was helping the dude that was paralyzed um like they were a, a fairly good force and then when they turned into white venom or whatever like you know like it's I've been peeping a little bit on the Venom storylines. Some of it I like, some of it I don't. But, like, all all in all, like, it's an interesting tangent. Uh, especially for the Spider-Man universe. Why would you let Peter get up close to the glass at all? here and we know you know go to the videos and that was uh that was seven so we need to go to uh eight chapter eight the escape yeah imagine the real life brother of mutants mm. That's kind of cool. These motherfuckers be just tempting fate, right? Seven foot tall and was a little bit hunched over and his arms had elongated down to his knees. Doctor of Kings is still just taller than my four buck Peter. Would still break him and call him a waste. Come on, baby. Peter had enough. Okay, we're over there. Alright, hold on. 
Happy Jane Swift and Big Auto came in with his arms to give Peter his dinner. Oh shit. Peter at this point just lost, uh, just like Otto for being insulting and rude. So he's still in there, I guess. Oh. You are a fucking cut, bro. Like, not, uh, uh, Spider-Man, like, uh, Otto. Yep. Uh, you deserve every bit of it, Otto. I'm not even, you know what? You get what you deserve. He knew how to stop. <laughs> yeah, he's activating more of his powers now, man. I wonder if this is what throws uh, Otto into, uh, like, you know, like, from the craziness. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's better safe than sorry. craziness for uh, old Otto he, he just got eaten you see what I mean like it's like it just just mm. yeah, there's uh, there's Peter that dude is seven foot fucking tall and hunched over now <laughs> I don't blame you. So this is um, uh, Osborne's uh, son. Uh, Harry, that's, uh, doing the, uh, narration. <laughs> it was not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't think so. Oh, fuck, no. <laughs> Um, uh, you know, if he wanted to eat you, you would have been dead. Are you gonna eat him anyway? What were you two going to do to stop Peter if he came for you? Oh, that's good. So it, it seems like Peter isn't, like, overly malevolent. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we figured. Two of your most prized subjects uh, gone in one night.
Mm-hmm. I'm sure Osborne was asking you the same fucking uh, question. Um, yeah, um, give me a second. We're going to go on to the next one. Um, I got to make sure. Uh, yeah, I, I hear her now. She's, she's going to, um, eight, nine. Okay. All right. One second. I will be right back. Um. Let me just make sure she's got food. She's a very insistent kitty. <laughs> All right. So, chapter nine. Uh, Demise of Daredevil. Uh-oh. Dead body of the wow. I wonder if he's gonna eat a uh, fisk or I mean, how are you going to do, I mean, So is he like a combination of venom and um, um, what's the other one? Carnage. Daredevil. I mean, I just don't know if you could.
I don't know if he could have survived. Damn. See, again, a lot like Marble Ruins. So is Fisk dead too? So instead of like trying to save his, uh, his, trying to hold, oh wow. Instead of trying to be the good guy, he just eats everyone or, beat, or kills everyone. did help, but sort of, and he paid for it. Oh, we are, we are, okay. Well, come here, come on. Come on. Come on, kind of morbid. I mean, I guess he's doing what he's supposed to. Trying to put a positive spin on everything, I guess. You still haven't told her what's happened in the last 10 years. You haven't told her a damn thing. Mm -hmm. Why? Mm -hmm. So is this gonna? So is this gonna end up like like it did before, where like she dies like uh, with Peter trying to save her, or is it gonna be? That's how they spun it. Oh, 
Raven. And see this, uh, the, the character of Craven the Hunter makes a lot more sense in this regard too. the spider legs are getting much uh, they're much larger than they were and he's using them to oh shit Maybe that's the symbiote. I don't know. He's built up an immunity to all the tranks that uh, Oscorp has uh, used on him. Okay, we're going to 
fucked up. So is this going to be like a, like, is there going to be a metamorph for this type thing? some grudge against you now. I mean, I will be too. That's uh, that's two specimens that you killed now. I mean, that says something about Craven, uh, is Craven's ability to survive. But um, I, I also do wonder um, if. Even in this universe, if uh, Peter is holding back, you know what I'm saying? Like, um, like, like, what if Peter is just uh, like really just playing with with you know, uh, uh, with his prey, like not even exerting his full strength, like in the mainline uh, universe. I don't know. Just a thought. Pistols now? Thought you were gonna do it with the knives. Okay. 
death of Draven. <laughs> Stealing Craven's victory from him. Damn. You tried, Craven. You tried. Nice stick, man. Chapter 12, Goblin Serum. make the, the, the fight be, the fight between the Green Goblin and Spider-Man more entertaining uh, in this universe. How you doing, viewer? Watching a Spider-Man analog horror. Imagine is Willem Dafoe going absolutely apeshit. Property of Oscorp. Welcome fellow employee today. You're going to help conduct a trial on the new super serum. First get the canister of the serum we will be using today. Very good. Now please insert the canister into the port. It will activate the serum automatically and filter out the liquid serum and release the gas inside the cell and the test subject will inhale the fumes. Very good. Oh, green goblin. Yeah, your father fucking killed that motherfucker in a rage. It was epic. It was going to go. Yeah.
Good job. 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 All right. Goblins last stand. Uh, one second. My cat wants to go out now, and I'm going to grab a snack. Let us continue. Green Goblin's last stand. Yeah, see. In this universe, uh, Peter has no morals. So, essentially, he's just offing opponents and whoever else he deems a threat. And he's kind of like just feral almost. So. It's pretty dark. So, I mean, he might survive. Yeah, the super soldier serum should have, like, allowed him to survive that. Either he's lying or he's got the split personality already.
I don't think he ever forgot. <laughs> See, I want to. I wonder. I want to know what uh, Peter's motives are. Yeah, but this isn't the... Oh, man. What's going to happen here? This, this would be an interesting battle to actually see. She was like dangling, right? My god. still die. It looks like it. Yeah, he's still in there. Like, I get that. I get that sense. Hmm. Yeah, this is a very, very angry Peter. And even when, even normal Peter is very dangerous when, when he's angry. Thank you. 
he gonna take a cue from um, the movie? Yep. Expect you wouldn't know how to process that. What did he start eating? Him? I mean, go after him if you want to. Eh. And now Harry's going to go and do some fucking stupid shit and, like, uh, be the new goblin. goblin formula mm. Mm. Brotherhood of Mutants, Electro. Mysterio. Punisher. Uh, uh, 
goblin, electro, stereo, blue lizard, shaka, and punisher. I think he's smarter than that, bro. It's all your fault for letting Peter escape in the first place. Yeah, so this is like a, like he's sort of like a, a mashup of of Venom and Carnage.
Yeah, you can subdue the symbiote by on its own with the sound machine. So for the new viewers, we're watching um, um, Spider-Man Analog Horror. One nasty looking fucking Spider Man. The symbiote could have fucking sep uh, survived together or separately. Really? That's that's all you said to her? Maybe just not to destroy her memory of Peter, I guess. So that was the second half of the um, Spider-Man Analog Horror Saga. Um, if you're interested, go check out Just Preston. Um, got good stuff over there. Um, and watch the whole series. Uh, and you can also check out uh, yesterday's stream and uh, check out my reaction to that the first half.
but uh, um, thank you for joining me. Um, like, subscribe, share, follow, all that kind of good stuff. Um, be safe, happy, and healthy. I love you all. I'll see you in the next one.